Hello again. Uh, today we're going to focus on uh, m on changing or modifying the printing defaults or the printing preferences uh, of your printer. There's a couple of ways of doing this, and I'll show you. I'll go through the uh, importance of each one. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to go into my devices and printers here, uh, and you can see here I've got. Uh, in this case I've got Konica Minolta C220 uh, that I'm going to look at. So if I right click on this one you can see I've got a couple of options here. I've got printing preferences and I've also got printer properties and I'm going to explain the difference between these two. If I go into printing preferences I'll do that first. Uh, any changes that I make here so that will change my default settings. So for example a common thing is if I want to set default grayscale or black printing on my printer so the default when you install it is auto color. I'm going to change it to grayscale, apply that and just OK and exit out of that. What I've done now is I've changed the default setting only for my particular user on this system so I've changed that to black and white if I want to change the default for say if this is a printer installed on a server and I want to change the default for every user that connects to the server uh, I have to go into printer properties because the printer properties are a different set of default settings and I'm going to show you how to set that up so I go into printer properties I'm now going to go into the advanced tab here click on advanced and click on printing defaults and you see when I click on printing defaults I get exactly the same preferences up but these sets, this set of defaults if you like is for any new user that is connected to this server for printing and you can see that it still s says auto color here because in the previous example I only changed the default for this particular user. So remember to click here on grayscale, apply, OK, and OK again. Now I've modified the default for every user that will connect to this printer in the future. And it's now set to grayscale. OK, I hope that was helpful. Have a good day.